Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods. Um, the 12th mod, four bonus mods. I don't know how long I'm going to keep track counting this. Uh, I know the episode's beyond number eight, but anyway. Well, not every episode. Uh, um, every episode, sure. I'll do math. And uh, yeah, this server is brought to you by our kind sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you want to grab yourself a discount off your first month of server hosting, go check the links in the description and uh, use our codes and you can grab yourself either 35% off if you're watching this in June or 25% off beyond that off your first month of hosting, play some all the mods, maybe load up 1.20 vanilla, play with your friends. Thanks to them for sponsoring. How's it going, everybody? Long time no talk. Hello. Long time no talk. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm still fighting elements. The elements are, be are, are, are. I'm at war with the elements. Were you able to um, get any more, uh, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, info, intel in between the episodes? Uh, yeah, I, I, I studied it for a couple hours, but I, oh, okay, cool, I, cool. I, I, I didn't retain any of it, so I'm still lost. Dang, that's unfortunate. Yeah, dude. I mean, yeah, I agree. Yeah. But here we are, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I did uh, manage to make uraninite, uh, uh, uranite yeah, uh, uh, seeds so you can grow your urine at night now. Cool, cool. So you Thank could, you. Yeah. Um, so we got that going for us at least, which is nice. And uh, at the, I, at the I, I ran a bit of cable at the last uh, episode and it's proving to be very useful. Um, did you? Yes. Where that cable going to? Uh, it's down by me at the at the um, farm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing in there. Okay, so I now I do have a fully sped up um, smelter. We it's not got uh, it's not got all the slots in it yet, but oh man, I'm just like I feel like the roles have reversed and in many series lately i've been the one setting up all the auto crafting on all the mechanism stuff and i'm like do i want it am i going to be doing this again am i going to be doing this again with the freaking stuff do you want to hand it off to me you just tell me wait pete have you ever done the mechanism uh, auto crafting setup mostly in a series before uh i did some auto crafting in vh season two with mechanism yeah okay but in one of our you know one of our peen series it hasn't really happened, no has it? Uh, you know what? Let's let's switch the Wow. <laughs> wow. You took, took it immediately, huh? Wow. Like, oh, it's a, we, we do a rotation. We do a little rotation, you know? You know, a speaking of that, rotation. I was actually just in the process of doing a little rotation myself. I was uh, working on getting uh, Mao Sukai. Uh, oh, up, yeah. what do you know? Oh, he wants to, yeah. wants to yeah. one hit kill those orange boys for more gem reforges, eh? Huh? I would. If you were wondering why I wasn't talking too much last episode, two reasons. One, I have a migraine, but also I spent like oh. 25 minutes killing the same Shulker boss. Because that guy, every two hits, would teleport underneath the island. Uh -huh. And he dropped the piece of gear that I'm currently working on right now. It turned out to be worth it. But, but it's it not going nice. to happen again. But barely. See, uh, this is, I just love how, I just love how initially I had a problem. And now I'm working on, like, mechanism and stuff. And you guys are all about the reforges. Man. I just love I mean, I it, just I love did it the interest. one time, but. Whatever your what, whatever 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 copium you need to huff, it's Squidward, fine. Squidward, Squidward, you do not need to hide your love for Krabby Patties, okay? Uh huh. You don't need to hide it anymore. Uh huh. If Krabby Patties were a real thing, what burger do you think it would taste the most like? Fast food um, restaurant. Like, what burger do you think you've eaten that a good resembles question. the closest to a Krabby Patty? Huh, that's a good question. Um, I almost feel like for me, it might be close to like a quarter wow. pounder from McDonald's. Really, I, I would, like, I would think In and Out probably. Oh, you think so? I feel like Krabby yeah. Patties are a little lighter than that. I don't know. In and Out is not heavy. What if you get like a single? It's pretty. It's a pretty light burgie. 
Definitely not heavy, but McDonald's almost feels like the candy of burgers in a way. Like you can they're, bow down they're, on that in like a minute and a half. Their buns are sweet. That's that's like I swear I'm pretty sure there's sugar in their buns because that's what I've noticed. Probably, is, there's probably a little bit of sugar in everything. Yeah. Um. But yeah, their buns. They, well, there's definitely sugar, dude. Have you ever got, looked at the ingredients? Sound like the bread aisle of a grocery store? There's high fructose <laughs> syrup and literally oh, yeah, everything dude. in there. It blows my mind. Bread is so unhealthy. Like prepackaged bread in America, God. Yeah, but the but it tastes so much better than the un, than the regular stuff. Ugh. But it, I mean, like I've never actually been. I've never been that big on just like the you know, uh, sandwich white bread kind of stuff. It just it cannot compete with like a nice good you know. I love sandwich white breads. Like of all the breads, it's the only like. Just give me some basic bitch white bread i'm i'm a happy boy it's so much better it's, it would love to be <laughs> what <laughs> one day one day <laughs> oh i brought up a thing that people got the whole weed do. down pretty well sourdough eh, not yet <laughs> right, right it was right. it was fun seeing your attempts or your your original attempts at your bread maker I think it was more of a science experiment than an attempt at making bread. Okay, I mean, whatever you want to, however you want to look at it, but it, it was <laughs> whatever copium I want to ingest. Yeah, I guess that was that was uh, that was entertaining, and I was glad that you shared with us. I seem to get a starter going, I'm feeding Thanks it every day like a class. pet. Thank you. Hey, I bet. I bet, dude. I wonder if you like go on eBay if there's just some like crazy expensive sourdough starters that people are selling or something like that, bro. I actually. Okay, I actually, um, when I was doing a, a video that I just had to record, um, I got for your single player series to no, this totally this sponsored <laughs> thing, totally separate. Um, anyway, but I got sent a link to um, just like these things that people were trying to sell on eBay as far as like interesting packaged foods. There were like misprints of a of a of a chip. And they were like trying to get five thousand dollars because it was like, you know, folded wrong or something like that. Or a bag, a bag that was, you know, the all the chips were like crushed together into a ball. Which I'm like, hey, how do you know before you even open the freaking thing? But whatever. And they're like trying to get thousands of dollars. I'm like, what do you think someone's actually gonna buy this? What what, what are we? And what doing? is this a bag of? It's like a bag of chips. I mean, I feel like that's just kind of like bringing out the childhood you of how excited you get when you'd open up a bag of chips and you see like one chip that was just nine glued together and you'd be yeah, like, oh my like, God, the mega chip. And everybody would be like, eat it. And then you do and you're in the hospital, you know. Oh, I didn't kind know of, the hospital part happened. That that I, I, I don't actually know about that, but I do wonder like if you ate one of those, you know, it's probably pretty undercooked in there. But yeah, anyway. Um. To what you were saying, though, yeah, it looks like sourdough starters are a pretty kicking thing on eBay. A lot how of how much? How much? Six dollars seems to be the common price point. Oh, okay, that's not not that, as that's much as I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm looking at like two hundred year old family heirloom, certified organic uh, really? sourdough starter, maintained since eighteen forty nine. Uh, Bavarian Black Death Sourdough Starter, four hundred year old at history, active sour, f six fifty nine. <laughs> oh, six hundred fifty nine. Okay, so there's some. No, no, six dollars fifty nine cents. Oh, and I mean, I guess oh. it's like, I don't know how much of the actual starter they're selling because I'm looking at these and it says like five hundred and fifty eight sold, four hundred and seventy three sold, six hundred and twenty sold. So it's probably like a smaller portion. But that's interesting. Who just popped on by? Someone just warped down. Are you and, downstairs? And someone I, just warped in to... and rolled right on by, like without even acknowledging that I exist and am a person, and just like bleh, ran right over my crops and just it doing their own thing. Didn't care about anybody else in the world. Okay, I did not run over your crops. <laughs> okay. Pretty sure that's how Let's it was. Get this clear. Pretty sure that's how it was. I saw him do it. Uh huh. I do. I do. I, I have it on. CTV. Uh huh. MCTV. <laughs> so, MCC Pete, come TV. down to base farm. MTV. Oh, frick, vein mine. Mm. God dang it. I'm getting my wires crossed on series. It was a bit of a run. Dick. <laughs> it was. 
it was a bit. It was, was it this moment that Xena is not happy that we decided to make the ship our base? Yeah, it's great. I love it. It's fine. It's fine. What happened? Speak how you feel. It's fine. Thirty seconds of un unfiltered. It's no fine. Judgment. I really don't. I don't mind it at all. It's. I just work with it. I just. I just work with what I got, man. So I do. Why we have warp stones? So what's the what's the issue? There isn't an issue. Oh, Everything's the wiring. great. wiring. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was a. Nice. It was a bit of a. It, it, you know, it, it took some effort, but we got there. I think it looks great, champ. It was poggers indeed. It was poggers champion. Yep, poggers champion. My favorite kind of champion. <laughs> I don't always have a champion. When I do, it's a Poggers champion. It's Poggers. Poggers, Australian for champion. Dude, that should be. Has anyone like trademarked Poggers? Has Twitch trademarked Poggers to, you know, like develop a beer called Poggers? I don't think so. Uh, missed opportunity. They should think yeah. about that. Yep. Missed opportunity. <laughs> I looked up Poggers on Google, and the first question is, why do gamers say Poggers? <laughs> it's an interesting question, one we don't really have an answer to. Originating from an email on the streaming platform Twitch, Poggers or Pog is an internet slang term used to express enthusiasm, mostly among online gamers. The original emoji known as Pogchamp was a screenshot of a streamer known as... Anyway... The second question is, is poggers a swear word? <laughs> um, Why is my not, kid is saying poggers? <laughs> it's on Cora. <laughs> oh, man, Cora. I hate Cora. <laughs> nothing, nothing worse than wanting to find some information and then seeing the, the answer <laughs> to the question that you're looking for, but it's Cora, and you're like, oh, great. This my 10-year-old son keeps saying poggers whenever my wife and I are with him in the living room. Why? <laughs> I mean... Oh, God. It must be one of those undercover swear words the kids have these days. I mean, I think it's perfectly reasonable that like, you hear some sort of random, you know, like, what are you talking about? Why Why, are, why is this a thing? And, and, you know, trying to find out why is my kid saying this? Because it's not easy to keep up with the vernacular if you're... Especially if they're... You know, I, mean, I don't know. I just... I can kind of... I can see that, and I don't, I don't. As old men, we can empathize. I just, you know, like, you don't always know. Yeah, no, you just don't know. Sometimes, sometimes you, you don't, don't know, know, you don't know. The, uh, the lingo, people head. God, I miss people head. I don't. That's so sad. It went Why from, like, people you head? being excited about the joke to now, like, you somehow became resentful and angry about it, and I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm letting sorry. it retire. Uh, okay. I'm sorry. I am rest. I'm sorry for the this creation that I, that that you hate that I am responsible hey, um, for. By the way, oh, if I suddenly disappear, just know it's thundering really loud outside right now. That's always fun. Oh wow, I love it. I love Dude, it. Dude, in in June, that's wonky. Well, June's. Uh, oh yeah, June. I love living in a desert climate. <laughs> Spokane's great. It's wonderful. It's bright and sunny in the morning, and and now I'm. So hoping my power doesn't go out. I love it. Dang. You never know what you're gonna get. You Life's like a box man. of chocolates. Yeah, but now what you gonna get? How do I make these element pipes? That's what I did. Man, I really wanna get some speed. I'm, I feel really slow right now. It just doesn't feel good. Have you tried running faster? I have, but my little leggies just won't do it. Ooh, that or will we don't do. Have legs. That will do right there. You know what? I'm willing to pawn off a... Wait, but that's only... Oh, no, that's 15%, not... Rick. You know what you do is you go to those gems... You find yourself. What you're are there for. gems that do speed? Oh yeah. Speed? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That right there is nice. That's a twenty percent speed. 
Okay, the elemental pipe is not showing as a thing. Oh, I'm not showing as a thing there with the balls. Oh, element. Where is uh, the speed? Oh, wow, plus 40% total speed. Huh. Uh huh. Turns out you can just gem. This is this what is what do you know? This is what wow. I'm this is what I'm saying. Wow. Okay. I don't even need to upgrade that thing. That's fine. Forty percent. Holy frick. Yeah, but it could be 30%. more if you were to upgrade it. <laughs> yeah. You could have more. Instead, Ooh, of, instead of it being less. Thirty-six percent total speed. I don't know how to make these pass like. But upgrade, but upgrade it, dude. Yeah. Wait, you mocking me? You what mocking if I me? I upgraded boy? the uh, thirty percenter. Uh. Oh, okay. I see. So I need another flawless gem of the samurai, bro. All of our gems are gonna get. I don't want to like. I don't want to like take things from everybody, though. You know. I didn't even wait. I was like, yoink. If someone wants it, they can figure it out, you know? I tried to stop him. Okay. And he just shoved me out of the way and pushed if me down. You I was insist. like, okay, fine. Just, just own That's that. That's got to be four gem dust. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm not oh sure how to get gosh. these pipes to work. Bro, we're going to need so many more gems, though. Um, well, it's a good thing we pick them up off of things. That is one drawback to using your, uh, um, digital miner is that we don't get, because I think you can get gems from mining a lot normally. It's got to be another flawless. That's not flawless. Oh, it's just, oh, that's freaked up. Yeah, you got oh to upgrade a tier that you have to have two of the same that are both flawless of the same tier, and then you can upgrade them. It's a true I carumba moment right there. Were you carumbing? I was. Well, in that, oh, my God. He uh, does not want to uh, sit in. What? Oh, sorry. I thought you were, were going to be like, oh, here he goes down the... He's about to go kill a dog. Okay. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. Am I wrong? Wah. Am I wrong? Wah. Let me be honest. I don't even remember. Why did you have to kill the dog? To get the super duper sword. It it converts it to the evil sword, I think. Oh. Well, I don't want the evil sword then. Yeah, I just... I got that one, and then you just kept dropping it in the... Uh, um, like lake and then enchanting it and then dropping in the lake and then enchanting it and it was all good. Enchanted lake. Yeah, I'd rather keep dogs alive, personally. Okay. Oh. And it can hold multiple of the same kind? <gasps> really? Wait. Did someone just have popcorn? Oh, oh, I move. Oh, I move now. Oh, thank goodness, seems bro. Like thank deletes. goodness. Thank goodness. Oh, there are a lot of gem dust in the reforge table. Yeah. I mean, I share. That's so sick. So, so where have you in the Maho? Where have you gone to? I'm oh, going to it. Oh, Maho isn't actually in any of the quests, though. It's just kind of a side thing, I guess. Huh. I thought it said that you could hold multiple elements, though. Oh, yeah, we zoom in. We zoom in out here. Let's go. Oh, 
those. So elements is not that it can hold multiple types. It's just more of that element. I see. How does one obtain mana? Um, it should just regen kind of slowly on its own. And then as you train it up, I think I thought that sped up. And then, is that different from like Maho mana? No. Well, I mean, I remember we, uh, with Maho, we had to go and uh, either, Jordan would slay villagers, but we would slay regular things. And it. We the, had a real big spawner going, which yeah, we could set up a big old spawner there, if we there wanted was to. Do a, that. There was a ritual that you would run, and it would use a little bit of your mana. And then also, there was the, like, the diamond, the mana diamond or something like that. Um, yeah, the, the attuned diamond and the attuned emerald. Oh, yeah. Um, I could go and try to fetch a spawner you know if we wanted to do the super duper upgrade skidoodles with all the i think apotheosis spawner upgrades are all in here so yeah do we have any roguelikes nearby i can't remember i, can't remember. I don't think we've seen any are we've we seen a couple here? oh I, I guess we've seen a couple oh wait we do have we have a skeleton spawner um i mean do we want to just Swab a villager? No. A villager swapski. What sort of people are you? No answer. <laughs> Suspiciously quiet off of that. I don't know. The, be the best kind of people. What? The heck? The... Why do we have the and buggin as waystones? I needed to get there. I needed to bring you boys there. And... Which which one uh, can I delete now? You're the one that made yeah, aren't you, Jordan? So are you probably yeah. are you uh, wait, wait, having yeah. room to even, are you having room to yeah. talk right I now? Don't even, I don't yeah. Have yeah anymore. No, yeah, it's okay, still in there. I don't have it. I still see it. Well, that's your problem. Why is it my? I I, I just teleported I'm the. I'm uh, deleting. I'm deleting one. I'm in yeah right now. Okay. It's a Wait, village. Which one did you delete? Uh, not the buggin. We oh. we needed buggin. <laughs> we, need... we needed buggin. No. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, I have I have silk touch. We're good. I silk touched it. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Everything's good. Put I'm gonna delete. Down. Can I delete the? Yes, Buggin is back. Buggin's back. Okay. Yeah, you can delete the. Okay. <laughs> really, man? I can't man. win. I can't win. Why did I go here? <laughs> I, I didn't actually need either. Oh, <laughs> either my was God. Ah, <laughs> uh, Pete. You, I, I love you as my protege. <laughs> I think that guy just loot pinyotted. Why did I just come here to swap when we have villagers at home? It's an interesting question. One that we don't you really have. Really the audience? I who? I'm going yeah, I'm gonna swap oh, the audience. Is it? Oh, there we go. Cool. We have villagers at home. Hey, this is the for once the villagers at home is actually like we have. We have villagers at home. They're good villagers at home, like, you know? How much mana do I need to summon the familiar? Uh, I don't know. Was that helpful? I don't feel like that was helpful. Why don't you know? Oh, if I knew, I'd tell you. Figure it out. Bucket of, how are we gonna get our bucket of XP? What is our play on this? Oh wait, can I freaking take it out of here? Can I freaking go? Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait, this might be sick as frick. Oh, 200 mana. No. No, give it, give it, put it in. <laughs> frick. Everything okay over there? Put it in. 
Ah, that'll work. Ah, yes. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Um, okay. Is this air? It is. Ron, do you happen to remember what the name of the ritual was that gave you the sword? The, yeah, do you mean the the one that requires a dog to be slain that I never did? Well, so how? What was the process of that? Like, how did you just was, took a sword and then you found a wolf and then you did did the deed with anything in your inventory? Well, I mean, you had to have your your sword. Is it any sword? No, your Maho sword. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. What's the... Like, think, how do you get the Maho yeah, sword? Yeah, I think you're ahead of him. Oh, you have his, to, sorry, his achievement you have was to just make starting. The, you have to make the lake. Yeah. You have to make the fancy lake, throw a sword inside of the lake, and then you use that sword... Um, in order to do the deed. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. But as I said, you can uh, you can use like a high sharpness if you have it, um, and enchant it on your sword. And then when you drop it in the lake, then it basically imbues the properties into the sword. And you can actually repeat that, and it'll you can level the sword up without having to go the dog murder route. Wait, Very cool. I thought there was something prohibitive about that, wasn't there? I mean, I remember doing it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because it was yeah, there was something Nether Star that you had to do, right? I think you had something that I guess you could do as long as you had Nether Stars to throw in. It was like repeatable, but if you don't just have a steady supply of Nether Stars, I don't think you can just keep doing that. Hmm. Here I am trying to find chickens. There don't seem to be a lot of chickens, but boy, there are a lot of Endermen. What the frick? There are one, there are Endermen all over. Yeah, why? Why are there so many Endermen? They wish to speak with you. What? <laughs> what? They want to suck your blood. They want to suck your blood. Oh, where are the chickens? WDCA, where are the chickens at? Yeah, what? Oh, there's there's chicken. Okay, cool. It's like this takes a minute to warm up and then it goes. But first it's... No, 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 no. Okay. What are you saying? Sorry, I was trying to override the uh, happy birthday piano. I forgot about the piano oh on the happy gosh. birthday. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. God, that is it's so ominous looking in the in the distance with the fog on it with our our, our ship of beauty. Not everybody has a ship of beauty like us. Um okay, so where are we gonna fetch a spawner from, eh? Where would the spawner be? Oh, oh and uh, that was one of the comments as well. Was hey, oh, we stop one. stop breaking the spawners on the ship because they spawn uh, good stuff that drops big apotheosis uh, stuff. And oh my god, you're idiots for breaking the spawners. So well, I'm just gonna use the skeleton spawner, apotheosis skeleton spawner. Well, uh, where so we were we? Where yeah. were they when we started the series? Yeah, you know, you know it they was should have been here at twitch.tv slash whatever our names are. Well, he's Pizza Hut. You're Captain Sparkles, and I'm Zine. Is that my name? Who? I'm just trying to help out because you seem confused in your oh, dotage. Dota? Dota 2? 
Daddy, dee 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 dot da. Nee na nee dot da. Nee nee na nee nu nee na nee. Watch out for those bad guys. Watch out for those bad guys. Da da na 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 da 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 da. Yeah, bass hunter. That's a good tune. Good tune. How was that now? Like fifteen, sixteen years? I don't know. It's been a while though. Minus ten minute spawn delay. Bum bum oh. bum. Oh, mi minus ten to the minimum spawn delay. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we need sugar. Um. Well, we have sugar. <laughs> what do we have? Sugar, sugar. We have a wall of sugar cane. Oh wait, no, is it clocks? No, it was clocks. Uh minus ten to the ma oh, I guess it's sugar and clocks. We want both to, to drop down. Um Okay. Sugar blaze. Oh, we need the uh dragon egg. We need the dragon egg, don't we? Yes. Okay. Comparator. Why does it say plus quartz? Does it really just hold that much? I got big hands. Let me on. Oh, quartz goes the opposite way. I see. It's opposite day with the quartz. Okay, so we need gassed tears. Do we have the egg? We do. Okay. Uh, There's another it's so egg good. just sat on top of the fountain also. It's so good bump, to bump. be back to doing this again. What are you doing again? Setting up the village. <laughs> Here he goes again on our on his own. Going down the only spawner I've ever known. Like a victim, he. Uh, <laughs> I don't think that's the lyric, or I don't know where the satire is going from there. Yeah, I, I was like, eh, you know what? We're done, and we're done. Don't know the prismarine. Is the prismarine like necessary though? Got in corners, I see. Yeah, already. Um, Doesn't take him long, does it? Oh, we do want a soul lantern, probably to ignore light levels. Oh, we want uh, fermented spider eyes too. Oh, we're gonna actually need two different kinds of spawners because yeah, villagers do not drop anything for getting levels. Ooh, 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 hey, that's ooh good. Oh, we need mushroomy poos. <laughs> oh, I don't need a lantern if I egg. Okay. The old mushroomy poos. Sugar. And we are going to need a lot of clocks. Well, it's a good thing I've, uh, you know, got the smelter going so we can get lots of gold going. It's not hooked up to the uh, auto crafting yet, but eventually I'm sure we'll get it to be that way. Weren't you complaining about not wanting to have to set that up? I wasn't complaining about anything. Just to be completely clear. Oh yeah, no, I, I, um, he doesn't complain. Whoa, a lot of redstone. Let's go. Oh yeah, right. I put that in. Um, all right. I don't know how many clocks we need, but we're gonna do probably a few. No AI? Why do we need no AI? I don't understand that one. Uh, if you do no AI, then they just stand there. Like, uh, think of um, Skybounds, where it spawns them, but they just sit there until you kill them. Oh, interesting. It's okay, kind of the opposite so of interesting. Want, it's pretty boring, but... Want, we are going to want Prismarine. I'm going to have to go find a uh, an a underwater monument. 
and get some prismarine. And, uh, yeah, okay. And I also gotta go find some mushrooms. You don't happen to have any, uh, mushroom things, do ya? Going on down at the farm? Nope. Alrighty then. No Let's mushrooms. Dark. dark forest, how far away? 2,000 blocks skis away. We can do this, we can do this. It's time to vroom. He came to vroom, vroom, vroom. Yes, indeed. What the? What? It was like huh? daytime for me, and then it was yeah, like sleeping what? through this night, and then it's like, uh, oh. Wait, did you do I'm that? doing a do sleep cycle. Because oh. I need to generate mana. My... Something happened that just like stopped my flying. Oh, that's just the... Flight prevention, anti cheat, whatever that thing is. I didn't know that was a thing. It'll happen a lot if you're in unloaded chunks. Oh, it's a chunk loading thing. Wait, do you have a, a hammock? Was that what happened? Yep. Oh, okay. He hammocked. I only is need to right click the hammock and bed 50 times in total. Uh, that sounds excessive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I can't. what am I gonna do about it? Complain? I need five thousand mana. What's the guy gonna do? Well, I mean, we you can start doing the spells, and then we can get the, you know, that the villagers going, and you can get mana in like a couple seconds. Oh, I guess so. So it's just yeah. killing things gives you mana. Yeah, it wasn't even villagers specifically in that case. It was just whatever. Yes. But you chose villagers because... Because they were convenient at that given time. Wow. Mm-hmm. I would con I would switch it over to pigs, and I killed pigs. Many pigs were slaughtered on my watch, but not we many humans. We also did do that, yes. We did, we did do that. Why are you taking some sort of moral high ground in this situation? Oh, oh, oh. Speaking of that, exactly. You, you, you bring... Um, there were a lot of comments that were very surprised by my aggression to uh, traveling merchants. Someone was like, man, Zine's always seemed pretty nice, but it's like he sees a traveling merchant and something <laughs> switches in his brain and the chemicals flip and he just turns into a ravenous like, Aah! He does. And he they were just and, a freaking ogre, dude. And it's they all were, ogre now. They were wondering why, where, what my, where my intense hatred of traveling merchants comes from. And in short... Um, and most like, I, I know that some people have said that, they, that there's good trades to be had in this one, but in the vast majority of instances, and there are, there are to be clear, uh, the, there's nothing that you want from them and they show up and they just, huh, 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 huh. like constantly, Do what? Do they hiss? Well, they drink their potions at nighttime. I can't, I can't embed. How many sounds do you think I can imitate? Like I can only do so much. Um, yeah, perfect. You nailed it. Um, <laughs> but I just, it just became a whole thing. Like, I just hated them showing up and just being, but I'm also someone who, like, I fill in all the holes around my base and, and, you know, Sparkles knows that I, I prefer the, uh, portal. You fill in? Wait, hold on. You fill in holes or like, you make like, holes? No, I fill in holes, like, that zombies might spawn in, like, in, when you're digging and stuff oh, like that. Like, okay. I always make sure that I don't have... Like, it drives me nuts when you have a zombie or a skeleton in the wall and they're just making the... And you're just doing your own thing. And they just sit there and moan at you all day. You know, it's funny. I, I had one of those uh, the other day and people were like, you did this to yourself because you didn't light up the cave you walked in earlier. And I was like, you know what? You're right. You're right. But... At any rate, it's really, it's, it, it, I'm not saying it's rational or reasonable, but it's just based around, I really don't like the, uh, the sounds of the, just them making noise and the llamas <laughs> all the time. And so it just, it's like, shut yeah, up. That was, that was a good one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you, can you do that in the, uh, any future updates if they're ever re-recording? <laughs> <lines? laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I do wonder if that's actually what the llama sound comes from. They just went around the office. They're like, who does a, who does kind of a horse inhale <laughs> pretty well? Me. <laughs> It's I. It's knee. an ex, it's an exhale, but that's okay. Knee. Knee. What the knee. what the balls are you? Knee. Yes, you nailed it. <laughs> knee. Am I doing it? Knee. <laughs> what even is that? Knee. Um, but you know, like, I'm just saying it. It. I. I just find them really obnoxious, and especially. <laughs> it, it. So it was just. It. It just became a, like a, a meme with stuff I do though like really ultimately uh-huh it's you know it's not that I genuinely like I no no uh wandering trader like you know did anything with my sister or mother or anything like that as was implied um it, it, or father or father or was my father oh maybe it was maybe it was the father oh maybe you were born yeah and I'm resentful and because he was a wandering trader he wandered away I was like dad yeah. and he's like <laughs> <laughs> oh your dad was a llama not the actual trader yeah but anyway um and also there were a lot of people in the comments that were despairing at you apparently not noticing that there was a uh um scroll bar on the trades and so like you oh were, god you were okay, like no 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 no, this, no, no, no. i'm defending jordan oh. immediately yeah, is on this, the, this one this is the scroll bar that doesn't work right Yes, yeah, because yeah. it's just there by default, and there's nothing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But people, oh my god, he let Zine kill that one without checking to see the scroll bar, and it was just like, no, because the way the scroll bar works is you use your scroll wheel. If the scroll wheel does not scroll, then you're gonna do the scroll wheel. Okay, anyway, you good? Anyway, no, it's just a. Oh, oh, that's a sore point. So, th this is. This is where these things originate from. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, reminded me. By the way, sorry, guys. If things are lagging, it's because I'm trying to find an underwater monument. Stop it! Um, and, yeah. I found a monument. Wait, you did? Where? Where? Well, it's like 7,000 blocks out, but if you need it, it's there. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> the, you does monument it have its own things? biomes? No. That you can no, use the nature's doesn't. compass or anything? I'm I nature's compass to deep ocean and gotcha. I'm just looking around. Can I give a hot take? I yeah. Just any random one or did you That's hot. Nature's compass is the worst mod to ever be included in mod packs. Just because it takes you right there. Is it a cheat code? Yeah. Yeah. Minecraft already doesn't have a lot inside every biome that you go to. Like, in terms of exploration and then tasking, there's not a lot of tasking to be done. So then Nature's Compass just says, let's just take the only exploration factor of Minecraft and just make that redundant. I see what you're I saying. Is a, and... I, this thing is a silly mod. Like, oh, I need this biome? Cool, go here. Instead of, I don't know, looking for it and finding cool stuff along the way, like the game was intended to be designed, but anyway. I, I, I can appreciate that. I mean, keeping in mind that, like, modded Minecraft at its most core before it's built up to what it is now, but its origination was basically just how can you have the game played for you? You know, like at the like that's really what it the the origination of pipes, the origination of build craft. It was just you know mining for you doing. Uh, a lot of it is all based around you know taking the game out of the game, and that's part of the problem with mod packs and, and playing them too long. Is you get to a point where you're like, it's done. You know, like <laughs> the system's automatically generating everything that I could possibly need, and all I can do is just click select and hand it to me. And that's when it's like time to start a new one. But Mm. Um, so I don't disagree with your take that you're, it is absolutely robbing an experience from the base game, but there are many elements that we're working with that do that. If you kind of think of, I mean, you know, like you could say the I same. Suppose. You could say the same thing about the resource chickens. Oh, mm, true. I guess, like I, I don't know. Production is something that I don't think ties into the way I'm feeling about this because production is kind of why modded is so heavy on those types of mods is to like find ways to speed up production instead of just making a vanilla farm for that, right? 
But exploration is exploration. I don't know. I feel like that's a category that shouldn't really be touched on too much. Fair enough. No, it's not fair. Argue with me. I don't have an argument. I agree with you. Upsetting. <laughs> <laughs> My hot take was not meant to be agreed with. You know, I might actually take you up on the flying 7,000 blocks. Wait, do you actually have the cords? I will find out. Okay. It was wherever... You will go. I'm trying to remember where the coordinates were to the... Because it was on the way to the overworld bastion. Where was the overworld bastion? Would it be like quicker for me to go to the overworld bastion or did we destroy that? We destroyed that. Uh, also. Yeah. I'm now trying to find where it was on my journey map and I don't know how to easily do that. Because for some reason it looks like my journey map deleted that Journey maps. Exploration. Journey maps never been great to me um, for remembering stuff. You could try in the FTB map and see if that um, does any better. So but actually, oh, it's because it was day. Wait. Oh, I got it. So actually, people are saying that we do not. If I just use a Nether Star on it, um, I won't need to. It'll be fine. So, have we fought a Wither together okay. yet, by any chance? We have not. I think we have. We just heard conflicting answers. What did Zine say? Did I said we have it? not. I said I don't think we have. Oh, okay. I thought. Sorry, I it did. Heard. It did slightly sound like I. I think we have. Yeah, okay. I fault. was like, I was like, I'll be better. Did, did we? Um. Okay. Where Where should we do this? Do you want to do this underground? Or do you want to? There's the entire you know. cavern right below us, or the ravine. We could just. Oh, we go could down. do it. You know what? Actually, be kind of fun. Nether roof. Nether roof. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Oh. That way, we actually like you know give it a, a fair shot. The guy who's all about taking his gear and giving it like a plus 800 armor and plus 900 damage is like, but I want him to have a fair shot. Swing! Oh, you lost. Okay, guys, <laughs> you want to come to the uh, just Swing. home and I'm going to I'm going to set a waystone here. It's going to be nether roof. Okay, and go ahead and clicky, clicky, clicky. Oh, I already have the in my inventory, apparently. Whatever. Anyway. All right. Make sure that you have some levels. Otherwise, it will be hard for you to get home. So. Tell me what to do. Okay. I won't. You can tell me um, what to do. Command me. Uh, all right. Feel free to come on by. Oh, frick. I um, need arrows. Yeah, that same. Way. You wanna you you wanna bring me some arrows? Uh, yeah, thank you. Too. Um. So, Pete, did you get your step height? No, not yet. No? Are you waiting to make it even higher? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm already at the rainbow one. It's on six. I'm seeing how high I can make that thing. That's. That's gonna be something. Why do you think um, I'm doing the mo? Ow, why? What, what did the? he do? Why did he just like uh, he's addicted to just hitting? Ah, fire! <laughs> and frost. What the? I, I just went frosty on that. That's. I, I'm feeling very emotional right now. I, I'm hot and I'm cold. I also have some sort of. It obviously doesn't work on you guys, but. Oh, I, yeah. don't, I don't remember what it was, but something, <laughs> at, something, uh, like yeets mobs away from me when they attack. Do you mind? All right. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> oh, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. You guys ready? It's like a yep. mega yeet too. Wait, 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 wait. I got to Hug him. Hug him. I got it. Oh, he's no, careful. Three, two, one, kaboom! Wait, 
Are you going for the uh, Elytra hits? Oh. That was quick. Ugh. Who got the star? Gotta go. I needed that. <laughs> you were hoping for the yeet. I'm gonna die. Do I? Oh, I don't have any food. Oh, you guys got very withered, huh? Please eat that. I don't have time. Oh, apparently I had another row of hearts because that was looking like oh. I was going to be... It looked like I was going to be dead. Like, we've I was like, that's... We've forgotten what hearts actually look like because we have so many of them. Oh, I was I was into my oranges. But anyway, I threw down the... You just like the, uh, you just like the yeet when you can get it to proc. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Wait, I wonder... Wait, 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 hold on. I wonder if I'm, like, in my elytra. You use it to wait. fly? Doesn't seem to... It's a per chance thing, right? I don't think so. It's it's pretty consistent. Zine, oh, is our sugarcane right supply, kidding. like, reasonably good? I... Go to the bottom of the ship. I just wanted to make sure before I start doing a bunch of vector plates, right? Yes, it's very good. We're fine. Okay. I was hoping killing the wither would give me like 5,000 mana, but it gave me like two. That's sad. Do you have to kill mobs with a specific weapon? Yes, it's a spell. The spell that you remember, you right click the little insignia on the ground. You make and the, that's how you get you the, make the mana smell, from the... You make the spell parchment, and then you do like the, the crushed redstone, crushed redstone, crushed iron kind of thing. And it makes the little right, okay. symbol, and then you right-click, and it spins. Soul receptacle. A soul is trapped in this magical container. The magic of this item prevents you from dying when in your inventory. Oh. Holy freaking sugar cane, dude. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh, my God. We've been what trying to get you to go look at it for oh a while. Oh, my God. You just, like, want to take a bite out of it? Uh, no. The shuriken's got to taste good, right? Do we have? Oh, we do. That's a stupid question. What is what a question? Stupid question. Well, like shuriken, right? Like, it's got to taste good, you know? Right? I think. I don't think. Are you talking like in real life? Is sugarcane actually tasty? I th yeah. think. It I think is. if you bite into it, there's. It's a bit like. It's sweet, but it's not very like convenient to eat. I think it's kind of like rhubarb, where it's probably like refined it it's pretty it, it's sweeter but it's not necessarily in its base form but mm. i could be talking out me arse i think it just ejects basically like sugar water uh into your mouth <laughs> essentially see the difference, <sighs> the difference between him and i is that i admitted i didn't know what i was talking about <laughs> i just like the way you said it just ejecting the water into your mouth <laughs> like a yeah. gusher or something eject that water On topic yeah. of things that I haven't tried, have either of you guys said kale? Do I eat kale regularly? I uh, eat it in salads often when I have a salad, yeah. Kale. Do you? What does it taste like? Because I've never had it before and I wanted to like start eating it. Um, It's just, it's more of a, it's got more of a slightly bitter-ish kind of taste and it's more, uh, it's tougher to chew than like butter lettuce. Um, okay. And it's got like a little more kind of texture to it because there's like more, you know, like neurals to the leaves themselves. But I think it's I think it's good and it has more nutrients to it than butter lettuce. So So a little bit more bitter, typically? Yeah. Than like other bitter. no butter. Greens. Okay. Trying to diversify my greenery palette. I've been on the spinach hype train for a while now. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try some other things, too. Yeah, I, I think I eat salads more often uh, with uh, kale in them than I do salads with lettuce in them. Hmm. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. What well, else so do you usually put in that you know, like dressing-wise? Um, I mean, it uh, like a, the salads I usually get end up having like a vinaigrette or something generally. 
big fan of vinaigrettes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I grew up, apparently ranch was the only dressing that my family ever knew existed, and I grew up associating that <laughs> yeah. with salads, too. So I, I thought for pretty much all my childhood and teenage years that I hated salads. No, I just hated ranch. <laughs> I actually really love salads. Big Caesar dressing fan, Caesar salads. Really love those, but yeah. Yeah, I was uh, I was definitely not very big on the greens growing up, for sure, and uh I think it's a combination of like having expanded my palate and also just, you know, trying things that aren't necessarily being prepared by your mom um, that have a little bit of variety to the flavor and it, it unlocks you a little bit. Also, just like going places with other people and getting presented food that you normally wouldn't try, but at that point you're there and you don't want to be rude. And then you try it and you're like, oh, actually, I would have this. And it's a conversation starter, too. That's how I tried uh, ceviche. For the first time. And I, uh -huh. I still think about that every day. Like, I got to find another place that makes good ceviche. Yeah, there's uh, hey, uh, yeah, ceviche, plenty around here. Ceviche, I've known like uh, like a lot of people who are like, oh, ceviche, I need to find. Yeah, I mean, exactly kind of like you are. Where it's just like ceviche becomes a mini religion for them. Um, mm -hmm. I'll make it my personality. I don't mind. <laughs> I already do that with water. So <laughs> like, you know. I, uh, I, I, I mean, I, I really do like ranch, especially a really good ranch, but, um, I don't remember how, but I know that in some way my getting my first vinaigrette was an accident and I like thought it looked gross, uh -huh. you know, like I, again, I don't know how, but I do remember very specifically having a feeling of like, uh, this stuff looks nasty, but I tried it and I was like, this is amazing and i love vinaigrettes and and i've since mm -hmm. come to really you know appreciate vinaigrettes and stuff um and then italian dressing is also really good like i've just like oh, maybe i just like salad dress maybe i just like calories i i think i just like things that are extremely <laughs> caloric and bad for me you know and uh um but yeah i i like i like ranch i like the italian i like uh balsamic a strawberry balsamic is really good mm. oh i haven't had strawberry balsamic before um, or maybe it was raspberry, but I just wanted a berry balsamic of some sort. But it's... yeah, that's that's always nice. That's always nice. Um, but yeah, the uh, I I just remember I, I I'll I'll never forget that balsamic. I was like, I don't know what this is, but I definitely don't want it. And then I was like, this is actually amazing, and it just looks horrible, but holy cow, it's great. The end. That was the last he ever ate food. Yeah, vinaigrettes are definitely up there for me on the taste palette. Love them in salads, love them in sandwiches. They're just very good. I don't know if I've ever had a vinaigrette in a sandwich. Nice, like a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. Hmm. That sounds you know, kind of like, like a it sounds breaded messy. salad. I. Uh, it, it definitely is, but it's worth it. I mean, like, I don't know. Look at any burger advertisement. It, like, th that stuff is made to be messy. I don't think a vinaigrette's any worse. I actually uh, um, pr much prefer my sandwiches kind of messy. And, and like, I, I hate dry sandwiches. Oh, oh, it's the worst. Trying to choke down dry food. <laughs> uh, that's, that's like one of my visceral negative responses. So, yeah, I'm all about, like, you know, like, uh, the sandwich, by the time I'm getting towards the end, the bread's starting to disintegrate. I'm like, mmm, this is perfect, you know? Hopefully mm. not before I reach the end, but just, just about the end. I want the bread just about to die right at that end. Yeah, and that's why vinaigrette is so good, because I, I also, I, I don't necessarily like tasting the sauce or any kind of feeling like that overpowering the sandwich. The vinaigrettes are, like, it adds that nice not dryness to it but it's not as overwhelming of a flavor it's very complimentary to the protein gotcha you could probably tell i'm hungry my food just got here i'll be right back <laughs> i think he's hungry balls no come on come on give me give me give me give me where'd you put it where'd you put it a man after midnight what the heck? 
Y'all good? Oh, there we go. I got him. I got him. I was just wondering what happened with the with the thing. Mm hmm Don't drop in lava. Don't drop in lava. Good, good. Whoa, that was sick. I just got a uh, loot pinata from shooting uh, with my bow and switching to my sword. Huh. Got a time just That's right cool. and picked it up, huh? Yeah. It's the whole cool. shoot at the gas and then equip the looting to get the uh Yeah, I just didn't bonus. know it also applied a loot pinata. That's cool. Big tech. Apparently those hold a lot more element than those little ones. Like, all right, guys, where ones. do we want to build the villager spawner? Wait, wait, you're spawning villagers to kill? Well, yeah, I'm. Yeah, I'm just getting it. I'm. I'm getting it prepped for, um, you know what? Will or we could not do villagers for now and then switch it to villagers later. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Maybe right now I will keep it to skeletons and then use it to get levels. And then after that, then we can change it to villagers later. That's a good way. That's a good way to do it. In the end, villagers will be dying. Yeah, assuming that, that Pete wants to keep pushing towards the, the goal, then yep, yep. I mean, I'm sleep cycling toward it. I'm telling you, Pete, there's All another right, way. I'm going to put it down here. I'm going to put it down here. And What's I don't thing? know if I'm going to be able to finish... Mogus, but we'll see. I was saying there's another way. You don't have to another do this. Another way. Uh, you don't have to do this. You don't have to give in. Tell I'm me. not doing it yet. Like, if you come up with another way that doesn't involve villagers, then yeah. you Search you your feelings, me. Pete. You know it be true. I need guidance. Let me follow in your footsteps. So, Jordan. Yeah, what's up, mate? You were like, hey, we have a perfectly upgraded furnace now. Uh-huh. Where is it at the furnaces? Oh, the furnace is on. It's just on the upper deck where all the mechanism stuff is. I see. You said that in, in such a way that made it sound like you were questioning if I actually had made the furnace. I think no. Zine's upset that you didn't put the furnace with the furnaces. That that was the thought of like oh, why yeah, isn't why is the furnace stuff, at the should... furnace? Well, because then well, you know if we want to, we could do another one. I just feel like it, otherwise it's just going to be um, for auto crafting. We'd have to run cables over there and stuff. Okay. I, I got mean, you. Just put, but, 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 I got what, you. Whatever you want to do, whatever you want to do, me. I, I, well, you know Zine, famously known for not ever running cables. <laughs> Sir? Hmm. I feel slightly seen right now. I do see you. Oh, thank you. So, I wonder if I remember even, like, how to build Mogus. <laughs> Do I remember how to build? <laughs> People are saying it's going to be ugly, and I take offense to that. What the? They say Mogus is going to be ugly. What are you building it out of? Cobblestone. God damn it. What is he building it out of? Cobblestone. Sir? Oh. Down here, it's just gonna be down here. You deserve whatever comments you get. Find a villager, trade for terracotta or something. What you know, how much terracotta I would need for this? We once we, we have get to 1700 emeralds, we can get unlimited more. 
you have the emerald restocker thing. We can use an exchanging gadget uh, in order to fix this later. Look, 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 look. Exchanging gadgets exist. Oh, yeah. Exchanging oh, gadgets yeah. exist. There will be no other cobblestone in this area that it could possibly blend into and mess up. We can use the exchanging gadget. Oh, some good copium. Feels good, man. Exchanging gadgets are not copium. Why is my 12 year old son saying copium whenever me and my wife are around? Is he watching uh, Peter's the Hut? <laughs> are you saying I invented copium? Yes. That's. I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> Coming back to uh, reading comments, um, someone had a big reveal in there. Uh, they were like, did you know that Pete isn't Pizza Hut's name? Dude, this this happens very regularly. Yeah, though. it's getting it's getting a little silly. Like, um, yes, it is, guys. Come on. Yeah, it, it's clearly his name. Okay. What kind of idiot would make an IGN? That's not their real life name. Clearly not. Ridiculous. Well, I think my favorite thing though is like people who come in and say, you know, "Oh, your name's not Pete." So like, why did you make your name this? And then I'm like, "Well, you understand the pun in my name, right? Like, hee hee ha ha kind of thing." And they're like, "Oh, why didn't you just make a pun out of your real name?" And I'm like, "And it, it always is followed by the dumbest suggestion I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Every time." Brandon's a hut. Brandominos, like every time, it's it's the same three recirculated comments. <laughs> I'm like you. I appreciate you. Brandominos, damn, that's a a solid one, man. Yeah, I know. Really pulling that one out of the top of the hat. Oh. I gotta keep him oh. from healing. Aw, oh, frick. Ah, oh, frick. What are you frickin' now? I fricked up with the builder's wand. <laughs> I have a uh, Enderman that really wants to hurt me, but he's unfortunately yeeted 400 miles away every time he comes at me. Okay, we're we're it, it's not there yet, but like, come on, dude. Just hold on one second. I respect the vision. Thank if you, you want to build something beautiful, first you have to make it ugly. Exactly. Have you ever seen a building in the framing stage that you were like, oh, that's pretty. I want to live there right now. I think when I was six, I got taken up to a mansion that was in that stage. And when I was younger, I was like looking at all of the unfinished walls and the support beams uh -huh. bearing through with no insulation. I'm thinking, I'd love to live here. It's like a jungle this, gym, man. This looks I know. awesome. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. That's so much easier to do. I have a relative who I remember going to. They're very well off. They got a mansion. And, and when you think of like mansion, I mean like mansion, mansion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I went there when I was really young, and of course I didn't understand the concept of homes, but of course I'm walking around this whole thing, and my jaw just on the floor the entire time, and I remember my relative making an offhand comment like, one day I'm going to give this house to you. And Whoa. I... Dang. It's been nearly two decades. I have no idea what they meant by that comment. I'm pretty sure they were just messing with me. I can almost oh, bet my entire not... life on that. 
you don't. There but you're slightly no, hopeful. Like, you're you're holding on to that hope, aren't you? It's just in the back of my mind, this little <laughs> curiosity of what did you mean by that? You like to be clear, like this is someone you still you know who this is, some distant super duper third cousin or something like that you never seen again. Who I have not spoken to since this encounter, yes. So this is someone who you see every now and again. No. Oh no, no I haven't seen them. Have not seen this person since the encounter. Yes. <laughs> okay. But he hopes, and that's what's important. Uh huh. You hope they think about what they promised you, and mm -hmm. maybe just, maybe they'll remember. Don't you don't know. I, like, am I gonna just be living out my life? I'm 38 years old, and I just get a ring on my phone, like. Hey, the $20, $20 million mansion's ready. Come on down. Like, it's going to be like great expectations. First off, there, there was a whole arcade. There was a, a putting green in the backyard. Oh my god. Did you just use 38 years old as like an example of like over the hill? Huh? <laughs> uh huh? <laughs> Wait. What? You said I'm gonna be I'm gonna be you know living my life. So I'm 38 year old, and then I'm gonna get a call, and it's just like the way you describe, like you know, the, the, like hold on, uh, yeah. this is not coming from my mouth right now. I was just giving a time frame at some point in the future, and I picked 38 years old. Okay, well that's what I, I mean. I'm just saying that like you know, Have I struck I, a chord. N uh, no, I I I'm I, I my 30s were decades and decades ago, right? So. Um, it's born uh, in BC times. I yeah. Believe, right. So it, uh, it there's no course. I was just like trying to make sure that for those people who might be watching in their uh, 38 them that they they understood <laughs> that, that the slander was not applied to them or that it wasn't going to go unacknowledged. Zen, I'm a Minecraft streamer on the internet. Okay. Well, and ironically, we'll get called old past the age of like 20. No slander here whatsoever. You think it's really? You think it's past the age of twenty? What the frick? It's always younger than I expected, to be honest. Well, okay. I don't think I was getting called old at twenty, though. Mm, but you were. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Um, so here's here's the question for you both. Um, has have you reached the point? where uh you the people around you don't get older anymore it's just that uh um younger people just look way younger um i think that kind of happens yeah no yeah, i like I'm that kinda, that's okay. it's a I combination of both for sure like the older i mean i'm still very young in retrospect like 26 is not old at all right but i still definitely have those feelings in of like you can be young <laughs> but um i am young but yeah, no, like as you get so as you get older, that effect becomes more and more pronounced to where it's like you hit a point where it's like none of the people around you, they're all just adults, right? But you just you're, you you go there, uh, you know, you go somewhere and you're like um, you know, like I need to, I need to talk to the manager and they're like I am the manager and you're like you're you're like 12 years old. What are you talking about? And you know, like it, yeah. it's just it's just you're like you you like it's not a matter of like condescension towards them as much as surprised where it's like oh my god is my perception gone that far and yes yes it has yeah, it's a couple sense. of things right like it's one reason i mean even if it doesn't matter if i'm at a restaurant or whatever food service in general i will never get upset at anyone who's serving me food whether they're paid to or not right like i'm grateful oh, yeah. for you but also i look at you know a lot of people who are working fast food and oftentimes i think to myself like they're a good few young years younger than me like sometimes they're even you know like 17 18 right and i'm mm -hmm. thinking i'm dumb as hell <laughs> like i i have all the patience in the world for you kind of thing right like do your thing however long it takes whatever you gotta do right but i think there's also the what i call high school musical effect where you know i i was i grew up as a young kid watching high school musical thinking that high schoolers were basically like adults twofold you know, because they were casting all of these actors who looked 
so much older and we're older than the age demographic oh, yeah, that's, that they're that's representing. All, that's, fr that's freaked up that they, you know, cast high schoolers who are like 30 years old and you're like, I don't look like that. What the I don't look yeah, like that. So then, you know, like when I got to high school, the perception was kind of weird. And now that I'm older, I look at people who are in high school and I'm like, yeah, no, it's just further off. It just keeps getting further and further off. That's I, all. I, I, it's just very jumbled in my brain of like age perception, I suppose. Yeah, I, I got you. And then I think it's also like, I don't know, the internet too. When you spend a lot of time socializing on the internet, you're not constantly in front of someone's person. So you still have a general understanding of age, but it's not as direct as like literally standing in front of them and seeing their stature, you know? Right. Um. All right, well, cool. I just, you know, kind of... How'd you unhammock me? What? You unhammocked my hammock. I did what now? Hammock it back. Hammock it back. <laughs> Hammock hey, no, it stop. back. Wait, no, stop. Stop. Wait, aren't you supposed to stay off? The hammock? No, the spawner is not. Oh. Is it ignoring redstone because of the frick? Oh, you need frick. to you is need to add you need to add the thing to to make oh, it I pay forgot attention. Oh, I to add the comparator. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, thank, you, thank you for reminding yeah, me. Yeah. Yes. It's the silly Billy moment. I uh, added 14 of the orange orbs for us. Holy pog. I am the fast. <laughs> okay, we are going to need more clocks, but... But. Okay. I don't know max entities and stuff does. And you've done a horde. I've done what? It's your fault. Oh, <laughs> I'm here for you, bud. I thought sure. I thought you'd think that's a pretty cool uh, mechanic. So close. Are you uh, are you ready to wrap there, Sparkly? Boys. Yeah, I mean, I got a, I got a spawnerific time. Oh my God, what did he do? Nice, <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. Oh jeez. I mean, you could, she's something. You could put it on a weapon for or a sword for plus seven point seven five damage, but plus eight step height it ain't nothing. You can just walk into the top floor of the uh, spawner if you <laughs> want to. <laughs> now, when you apply a. Uh, gem and you get that attribute a couple things can that attribute overwrite an existing attribute like socket so if you no, already you have step you just won't have room to add oh so you have to not have it at all oh oh you're saying oh no 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 they'll stack like if you already have step height and you add another it'll stack yeah what is it overwrite or is it stack it's no, stacks. It stacks yeah so if you you're already have, have boots that have step height eight and you put that on, it'll give you 16? You, yes. Sure. Yes. And also, if your boots have two sockets, because that's not a unique gem, you could actually make a second flawless solar gem and add that in. Or if it even had a third socket. Well, no, that's what I think Pete was saying. He already has step height on the boots. Right. You can add it again. Well, uh, yes, step, I'm just yeah. saying that the, you can actually add the same gem multiple times, assuming it's not yeah, unique. Yeah, yeah, Oh, uh, we've created a monster. No. We've... I want to get to a point where I can be on the ground level and just walk into our ship. So I believe if you got eight on everything and you had triple, triple gems, the best you could possibly do would be, uh, eight times 12. So you, yeah, you could have, uh, like 96 step height. Wait, where does the math come into play on that? Eight step height. Triple gem sockets for every armor piece. You could have 96. Well, no, but if you yeah. on different armor pieces, it gives a different stat. It's only step height. Oh, on the feet. right. I forgot. It's lower armor only or boots. Is it boots only? Yeah, it's feet. You might only be able to do well, 24. Wait, I was hold thinking on. Dawncraft. Dawncraft, you can have it on any armor, any slot. Do you need a second socket to add more step height onto something? Like if you already have step height and you wanted to add more step height, that would take up a second slot it wouldn't add it onto the existing step height slot no it takes no. any gem you apply yeah, as a new each slot. gem just goes in a oh, slot oh okay so like on mine i have one gem in one slot for 50 base attack and one gem for plus 44 base lifesteal and i could 
Could have used uh, Damn, two forty-four base life still. Base attack. That's crazy. Um. Oh, base attack speed. Obviously. Yeah. So I see. They just uh, each gem, you know, takes a socket for it. That's how it do. Um. At any rate, we would like to thank our sponsor. Um. For today's uh server. Apex Hosting. Uh, be sure to check out the link in our description. You can save 25% off on your first month and help support us in what we do. We appreciate you uh, for looking into them and thanks to them for sponsoring. We do create these live. You can see that it happens. Twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles. Twitch.tv slash Pizza Hut. And Twitch.tv slash Zine. Throw some follows and come see all the stuff that doesn't make it to the videos. And if you've enjoyed, then why not leave a comment? Hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, then maybe subscribe and turn on the bell. Anything for you guys before we go? And if you watch this video on a third-party site in bed, make sure to watch the ad. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh, boy. All right. Wait, do we even have that uh, discussion in the no, episode no, at all? Nope. No. No. No, there's no context to that. I guess that. time will tell how uh, <laughs> relevant me saying that is to people watching. It becomes a big deal or not. At any rate. We'll all right. We'll see you all next time. Bye, Bye. guys. Bye.